Coming right up, a special edition of Straight Talk, Port of Long Beach Update. Our guest tonight, Chris Lytle, Executive Director of the Port of Long Beach, and Susan Wise, President of the Board of Harbor Commissioners. All on our show tonight as we continue our 20th anniversary year. Closed captioning provided by Scan Health Plan. Opinions expressed in the following program do not necessarily reflect the views of Charter Communications nor its sponsors. We recognize our obligation to present opposing points of view by responsible spokespersons. For information, please contact the director of program. Straight Talk is brought to you in part by Southern California Edison. For over 100 years, life powered by Edison. The Press-Telegram, your local news leader for over 100 years. Join us for tonight's edition of Straight Talk. And now your host, Art Levine. Good evening, welcome to Straight Talk. We have a great show for you tonight, focused on the Port of Long Beach. Our first guest is Chris Lytle, the Executive Director of the Port. Chris, welcome to our show. Thank you, Art. Chris was appointed as Executive Director uh, by the Board of Harbor Commissioners in November and took office uh, January 1. Uh, congratulations on that great yeah. honor. Thank you very much, Art. It's great to be here. I was at your uh, very moving uh, State of the Port address uh, uh, earlier in the year, and you said in that address, quote, this is the best run port in the world and you've seen them all. Explain why you made that comment. Uh, well, I tell you, this is, um, as, as, as you just mentioned, I've seen a, a lot of ports, I, I've worked in a lot of ports, and the accomplishments that uh, that I've seen since I've been in the Port of Long Beach uh, uh, it makes, it makes the others uh, really not look anywhere near as, as favorable as the Port of Long Beach. Uh, the, the kind of things that we've been able to do in, uh, with the environment, um, the, uh, uh, our fiscal policies that have been conservative and very successful over the years, all of those things uh, add up to uh, um, a very, very successful combination. I know the port is recognized as an environmental leaner, leader with its green port policy all over the world. We're really cutting edge with that. We are. I mean, if you, if you go back to 2005 to today, um, we've reduced the port sources of pollutants in the air by 72 percent. That's really a, that's an amazing accomplishment, 72 percent in five years or so. So we're very proud of that. And you know, the thing is, we're continuing to um, move that forward and raise the bar higher and higher. So our goal is to eventually be at zero emissions in the port. That's, that's really remarkable to, to be the fifth or sixth largest port in the world when combined with LA and have zero emissions is, is a phenomenal goal. Right, it, right now we're the, we're the leading port in the world environmentally. As we move through, some of our new port developments are going to be much cleaner than any other any other the other ports in the world. We will be closer to that zero emissions goal than any any other port in the world for sure. I know the port's involved in a massive four and a half billion dollar capital improvement program now, and an important part of that is the Middle Harbor. Uh, tell us about that. Well, the Middle Harbor is a great project. First of all, um, this project it's um, it's about a 1.2 billion dollar project. Um, this project will actually be able to grow the, the throughput um, of the terminal, uh, basically double, but the interesting thing is the pollutants that, that emanate from that terminal will be cut in half. So what we're doing is we're creating jobs, the, the number is about 14,000 new permanent jobs, thousands of construction jobs. Um, this is a, a great facility, it'll be probably the most efficient uh, and most modern terminal facility uh, that's been developed in the world so far. Let's take a look at the Middle Harbor. Everywhere you look, the Port of Long Beach is building the Port of the Future. It's emerging from the sea as the first phase of the Middle Harbor Container Terminal Project, which will eventually support 14,000 new permanent jobs in Southern California. 
When completed, it will merge two older facilities into one state-of-the-art terminal capable of handling twice as much cargo while cutting air pollution in half. This will be the most efficient and environmentally friendly terminal in the world. So Chris, with the Middle Harbor, we have two large terminals being merged into one mega terminal, which is where the future of the industry is going, I understand. Well, it is, and what, these are two old terminals that are coming together. Um, these terminals will virtually be um, all electric terminals. There'll be uh, almost no diesel emissions whatsoever. There'll be, uh, the containers will be moved around uh, via um, electric power. Uh, the cranes, uh, obviously, all electric. The rail operations, electric. Th this will be uh, the, the cleanest terminal by far of anything that's been yet developed. And cold ironing is uh, increasingly coming into play where the ships use on uh, land-based electricity rather than burning dirty diesel fuel for power. Exactly. One, we've made a huge amount of progress um, with our clean trucks program, and we've reduced the pollutants from, from diesel trucks uh, so far by about 90%. So, you know, that's in itself a, an amazing accomplishment. But the, the remaining big issue that we have uh, with, with pollutants in the air uh, comes from the ships. And by plugging these ships in as they come alongside and shut those massive diesel engines down, their auxiliary engines, this is going to have a huge impact on, on uh, eliminating more pollutants from the air. So uh, the, port's, the port's investing about $200 million in this project to, to make sure that every, every single container terminal in the port has the ability to cold iron or to, to use shore power for these massive diesel engines on board the ships. And that'll be done by 2014. And of course, you're incenting ships to slow down as they approach the harbor so there's less pollution. Exactly. Uh, we ha it's an incredible uh, compliance rate. We have a, a, a voluntary incentive program that we've given to all of these shipping lines. And what we do is we actually give them some of, their, some of the fee money back if they comply with the this, with this, this speed reduction program. Right now, 97% of all ships coming into the port of Long Beach slow down 20 miles out. And 40 miles out, that number is about 75% of the vessels. And that all reduces makes pollution. Huge, makes a huge difference. And you mentioned uh, clean trucks. So now all of the trucks coming into the port are 2007 diesel or better compliant. Exactly. There, there are no dirty uh, no diesel dirty. trucks that, that come in. If you, if you go, anybody could go today, look at, the, uh, you know, look at some of the trucks uh, coming in and out of the port. They are all new trucks. They're 2007 model year or newer. Or better. Okay, great. It's fantastic. In the next segment, we'll be joined by the president of the Board of Harbor Commissioners, Susan Wise. Stay with us. In today's world, everything's connected. From the workplaces that support us, to the homes that welcome us, to the trees and wildlife habitats that remind us how important our environment is. When a bird lands on a branch and in the midst of a busy day, we stop to watch. It makes us realize we're all in the same boat. The Port of Long Beach welcomes this world with open arms, an environmental policy that's second to none, and a commitment to shaping a vibrant community. The Port of Long Beach, thinking outside the docks. I want to improve my career opportunities. I want to earn a higher salary at my job. I'd like to finish what I started. The new Bachelor of Arts in Liberal Arts degree completion program at Cal State Long Beach will help you achieve your educational goals while keeping your life in balance. Contact our customer service center at 1-800-963-2250 for more information or visit us on the web. Let CSULB help you finish what you started. Supported by Edison International. Californians are getting to be old hands at year-round energy conservation. Part of our special awareness of the resources we all depend on, we're making the change to energy-efficient light bulbs, keeping warm weather thermostats set to a comfortable 78 degrees, and giving major appliances the afternoon off. Because when it comes to energy conservation, it all adds up. Life, powered by Edison. As your business searches for smart ways to save, don't forget about the one that's right in front of you. 
Switch to the Charter Business Bundle and you can save big without sacrificing a thing. Get reliable business telephone and high-speed internet with local support and great features. Power your business with great savings starting today. It's easy to pay less and get more. Call now and make a switch to the Charter Business Bundle. 1-800-227-5050.